hey everyone anurag here with another typescript code snippet for you so today let's try to see what we are going to do so so let's say you you're you're building a application where you need internationalization right and you have a react component for it which is called formatted message uh, and you also have a json or a object structure which would uh, take the internationalized values for it let's say for english it would take greeting intro and header and you have uh, some templated string here with a hello and a curly brace expression with a variable right which would be uh, replaced by the value uh, provided by your uh, local file right and uh, in here this format message uh, component in react it would take the id of the uh, messages right greetings intro or header and also it would take the values for example uh, in here for greetings we want here um, for name right it would uh, autom it, it should automatically provide us with uh, auto complete and throw error if we provide uh, some other values for it right so this is the problem statement so let's see uh, how we can first first thing first is that we first have to make sure that we uh, extract this expression right we have to make sure that we extract uh, uh, everything inside this curly braces so let's see how we can extract it uh, on the type level right so let's say i'm going to create a type which called get expression which would take a string uh, extend string right and just let's uh, just return it for now so let's try it expression so let's say hello name so now this would just return the hello name itself right so first of all we need to do a pattern matching here so we can say key uh, t extends so we'll check for uh, we'll check for a string any string right first of all we'll check for any string and then uh, we'll check for uh, if it's uh, basically wrapped inside a uh, curly brace right if it is we are gonna infer this and save this value to a variable called a identifier right let's call it identifier and let's let's just return the identifier for now uh, let's see what happens and if it if it's in a, a, if this check fails we are gonna just return never right so this would give us name right uh, this works great but the problem is here the moment you try to put something else here uh, this would this this basically this match would uh, become invalid and uh, never uh, never would be given so plus also uh, this this won't uh, work with multiple uh, expressions right yeah see it, it, this has got messed up so what we want to do is uh, we want to infer the rest of the elements right we can do infer rest this would work but again uh, uh, since we are inferring the rest, rest rest of the elements but we are not using the rest of the elements uh, in here that's why we are only getting the name so what we have to do is uh, basically use recursive type here so we can take the uh, rest of the elements and uh, again call get expression uh, on top of it right so if you see now it would give us properly name and nice right uh, so we can uh, for now we can parse this uh, intro header and greetings uh, values right so let's try to make use of it so first of all we'll need to make sure that we get all the uh, typed values right we don't want a string here we want uh, uh, actual literal value so that's why we did as const so let's get all the values here so we can call it type message uh, messages right uh, with the type of messages uh, and we can get the env key uh, all of this will be same so we can just get the env key and we'll have the uh, values here right so we can say that uh, in here uh, we can come here and say uh, so we first need to provide a generic here because this id has to be provided uh, to here right we need to get the generic here so we can say uh, id extend string and we can pass this generic to uh, the format message props 
we can say props with id and we can pass this id to here so that we get the intelligence and here we can say get expression uh, get expression of messages of id right but uh, as you can see this would uh, throw an error uh, because we have to make sure that uh, these values are correct but now if you see uh, this we are getting the correct autocomplete and everything so in header we have uh, name we have is right uh, in header it would give us is of uh, is school let's say mm. and for intro we have uh, name and age right that's why it's giving us the error uh, type missing name and age right so this works uh, so we can say age something and name of something right but as you can see this uh, invalid key is not uh, being properly shown right uh, this this key should be invalid so what we can do is we can uh, say uh, key extends uh, key of key of messages right so now this would give us error uh, and this would uh, to do to fix this error we can also do key extends key of messages right so now it would give us the error here and also in here and it will also get autocomplete in here so this is fully type safe now if you say if you put another value here let's say something right uh, hello of let's say world and you copy paste this let's say now we also have we will also get the autocomplete in here of something and we also get the autocomplete here of world yep so this is all in gold uh, everything is type safe and you will get the type safety in all over your code base so it's a great use case for conditional types and recursive types yep okay bye